another video episode of uh, some of those very creative shots, let's see. And you know, it's about the ability to get the, to, to see shots others maybe don't see. So let's start with this situation, for example. I guess it's hard to make the shot anywhere else, maybe. I mean, this shot, this pocket is totally blocked. But the trick is, I let the cue ball jump slightly into the eight, like this. So the eight jumps also a little, hits the 12 on top higher, and from there, it jumps over those two balls and hopefully in the pocket. I mean, in this situation, what else? I mean, you know, should you try? You should give it a chance, don't you? Thank you. Let's have a look. situation uh, compared to the last one. The last one I created pretty much on my own, but this one is almost classic. Uh, Mike Messi showed me uh, many years ago. The bank shot, I mean I can't put it, uh, I can't shoot it directly in that pocket. The bank shot itself is not possible because of the double hit, the double kiss here. You can avoid it. The only way you can avoid it is when you elevate your cue, let the cue ball jump a little, just a little, so that the eight ball, you aim naturally, the eight ball can pass under the cue ball because the cue ball is actually in the air. So let's have a look at the shot. try to use a little bit of jump technique, the slight jumps, and as you see there's no other possibility as far as I don't see no other possibilities. So the regular bank income angle outcome angle in, in the slide pocket is blocked by, two, uh, by those two balls. But when I just elevate the cue slightly, it jumps into the ray, jumps higher out over the balls and keeps usually his income outcome angle. So you should try it or not. Let's have a look at the shot. So here we got almost a similar situation uh, like we had before on the side pocket. This time we could make the same technique and use the same technique to make a jump into that corner pocket, which is blocked at this time. So but if this is blocked also, why not make a little adjustment, try to get near that diamond and then you got a pretty good chance, especially with the 15 ball in front, a pretty good chance to make it maybe in the side pocket, right? Let's have a look at the shot. Okay, here we got almost the same situation like before, just this time it's uh, this, we don't need to block that pocket or that pocket because this time it's about the cue ball, to let the cue ball jump over the balls and getting two rates on the side pocket. You can imagine, it could also be uh, the eight ball over here or over there and you can try the same technique. So it's all about the technique, just make yourself familiar with it and you, have, you will find more possibilities to use it sometimes. Let's have a look at it, shot. Okay, here we got a pretty strange situation because they are actually frozen to each other, frozen to the rail here. At uh, this diamond, cue ball also frozen to the ray, and sometimes it makes me wonder by myself. But it's really possible to make the eight 
internet uh, side pocket over there just by using lots of left side spin and actually not that uh, not so much low and make sure if you put a lot of left side spin on it and not that low more like center or high and then um, yeah let's have a closer look at the shot anyway Here we got almost a very classic situation. It's a pretty well known shot, but if you imagine like in the 80s when well, I had to shoot this shot first time, it even came up in the middle of the game. Uh, then, uh, yeah, it was a game of 8 ball, and the pocket wasn't even blocked then, but we played 8 ball last pocket. So I had to shoot the 8 into that pocket. And what we want to try is we try to give low left. And shoot it over here, and the left helps to bring the cue ball, the launch of the eight ball over here, again back there, and inside here. So that's a three classic three with a little side pocket. Let's have a look at it. Okay, here we have a pretty classic shot. It's the pass, pass by shot, you know. So you shoot, they are frozen to each other, eight ball and cue ball. You shoot into the cue ball, like uh, with, this, with this angle, and hit it more like uh, one o'clock. And uh, you go straight through, not something like this. Straight through, at least you try. And then the Eight goes into the direction of the pocket, and the cue ball passes the eight, clears the twelve, so that the eight has a free access into the pocket. And uh, it's a it's a old shot, very difficult. The rules sometimes change, sometimes it's a legal shot, sometimes not. But uh, anyway, it's for us to try, and let's have a look at the shot. Okay, we got another classic situation here. You see, normally you bank it maybe, but we got we block that possibility as well as we block other ones. But this is not the main task. Even if there those pockets were free, I I would go for the direct cut into that uh, corner pocket, and the cue ball usually, of course, drops and you scratch and you lose the game. But when you elevate your cue just a little and hit it high. Then you're not hitting here in the pocket, you hit more on top of this pocket. Either way, here or there. And from there it jumps out, back out again. And yeah, let's have a look at the shot. And it's a, it's a neat little shot. Okay, here, of course, you see, we blocked all the pockets, it's uh, really a made-up situation, but the uh, principle itself, yeah, why not, uh, trying to be a little bit creative here, it's an official artistic shot also, and you can make an eight ball shot out of it, when every pocket is blocked like this, you can still shoot directly, pretty much straight, high, some right on it, uh, into the eight, so that the cue ball follows, into the rail, clears the pocket, while the 8 ball goes 1 rail, 2 rail, 3, 4 rails, and into the pocket, which is clear then. Pretty neat little shot. I hope you like it. Let's have a look.
So I hope you like the shots again. And um, maybe I should just add that the task or the goal from this video is not to show you the most difficult shots of the world. There are other people who try to fulfill this kind of mission. I, maybe I could do also, but uh, no, I'm not. Since I won the world title in trick shots in 2004, I basically limit myself to the shots I feel comfortable and like. And here it's more about also to get the, to get the ability to take a closer look at shots which are totally unusual so that you raise the ability of your fantasy to find creative solutions in whatever situation comes up, right? Even though this specific situation you practice may never come up in the game, but you practice when you have a nice collection of exotic shots like that, you practice your ability to see different solutions. And that's what it's all about. So it's more about the real game, even though if we see some trick shots here. So thank you very much and stay tuned. Yeah.